this class we will learn to simplify a capacitive circuit that has star and delta connections so at the same time we will also learn how to convert from a star connection of capacitors to a delta connection of capacitors and the vice versa first we will learn the formulae now in the first figure what we can see is ra rb and rc these three resistors are connected in star n is the neutral point and first we will convert this star connection to its equivalent delta connection where r1 r2 and r3 are the resistors which are connected in delta since we are converting from star to delta so we will be expressing r1 r2 r3 in terms of ra rb and rc so these are the formulae now in the second figure what we can see here is R1, R2 and R3 which have been drawn in grain. They are connected in delta and RA, RB and RC they are connected in star and N is the neutral point for that star connection. And this time we are converting from delta to star. So we will be expressing the resistors RA, RB and RC in terms of the resistors R1, R2 and R3. Now this is the case for resistors. Now we will see what will be the formulae when we have capacitors in that star and delta connection. So in case of capacitors, the set of formulae for star delta conversion is just opposite to resistors. Now we will come to the circuit. Now at first glance what we can see here that 21 F farad and 3 farad, these two capacitors are connected in series. And at the same time, 1 farad and this 3 farad, they are connected in parallel. And also this 1 farad and this 1 farad, they are also connected in parallel. So here also we know that in case of parallel circuit, means when two capacitors are connected in parallel, the equivalent capacitance of those two capacitors, the formula will be same as the registers when they are connected in series means simply when they are connected in parallel these two capacitors their equivalent capacitor will be simply summation of these two values so the equivalent capacitor here will be 2 farad and here between 1 farad and 3 farad which are connected in parallel the equivalent capacitance will be simply 4 farad simply they will be added now we need to find the equivalent capacitance value between these two capacitors where these two are connected in series. Now for series this formula will be same as the formula for registers when they are connected in parallel. So these two values will be multiplied in the numerator and then these two values will be added in the denominator. And finally this value will be 2.625 farad. Now this is the modified circuit where this 2.625 farad is the equivalent capacitor of these two capacitors which were connected in series and this 4 farad is the equivalent capacitance of these two capacitors which were connected in parallel and also this 2 farad is the equivalent capacitance of the capacitors which were connected in parallel here 1 farad and 1 farad. Now what we can see here we have one delta connection of the capacitors here and we have one star connection of the capacitors here and none of the two capacitors are connected either in series or parallel so we need to convert either from star to delta or delta to star but we will do a little bit analysis uh, where which one will be more beneficial for us so here for this circuit we will target this part of the circuit where we have one star connection and we will convert that star connection to its equivalent delta so when we will do that here we have one endpoint here, one endpoint here or here whatever we say these two points are basically same point because we don't have any component in between and this is another endpoint and this is the neutral point. So between this point and this point we will have one capacitor, between this point and this point we will have another capacitor and between this point and this point we will have another capacitor after conversion now we will see what will be the their values now here we are converting from star to delta connection of the capacitor so when we will find the value of this capacitor for this capacitor these are the two capacitors which are connected at the end point and this is the neutral point so value of this capacitor will be 4 multiplied by 2 in the numerator and divided by the summation of all the capacitor value or capacitance value so 4 2 and 4 and finally this will be 0 0.8 farad 
now for this capacitor when we will find the capacitance value for this capacitor this and this capacitors are connected at the end points and this is the neutral point so the capacitance value will be again 4 multiplied by 2 divided by 4 plus 2 plus 4 so this value will be again 0 0.8 farad and for this capacitor the capacitance value will be these two capacitors are connected at the end points and this is the neutral point so this value will be 4 multiplied by 4 and in the denominator again we have the same value 4 plus 2 plus 4 and this value will be 1.6 farad now this will be the modified circuit where this 0 0.8 0 0.8 and 1.6 we have just now calculated and we converted from a star connection of the capacitors now what we can see in this modified circuit that this 2 farad and 1.6 farad are connected in parallel these two points are same here we don't have any component in between and these two points are also same so here also we don't have any component in between and this 2 farad and this 0 0.8 farad they are also connected in parallel and this 0 0.8 farad and 2.625 farad they are connected in parallel and for parallel connection of the capacitors we know here these two values will be simply added and the same thing will be applicable for the other set so here the equivalent capacitance of these two capacitors will be 3.6 farad for this set of capacitors it will be 2.8 farad and for this set of capacitors it will be 3.425 farad now this is the modified circuit where we can see that these two capacitors are connected in series and with that connection this 3.425 farad capacitor is connected in parallel now first we will simplify this part so since this is series connection of the capacitor so equivalent capacitance value will be 1.575 farad so this 1.575 farad capacitor and this 3.425 farad capacitor they will be connected in parallel this is the modified circuit this is the final circuit so since they are connected in parallel their values will be simply added and the final value of the equivalent capacitance of that whole circuit will be 5 so I hope this class was meaningful for you. Thank you.